Well, get ready for a long and stormy night. If you're one of those folks who gets a little nervous or uncomfortable by thunder and lightning in the middle of the night, well, you better get the anxiety medication handy because it is going to be a long night for storms across the area. Now, while the severe threat is not incredibly high, it is present. Let me show you radar right now. First things first, let's zoom you in across parts of northern Kentucky where we have a severe thunderstorm warning currently in effect for southern parts of Kenton and Campbell counties. Also, the northern part of Pendleton back into Grant County. This this is a nasty looking thunderstorm here and because the atmosphere is basically undisturbed across parts of northern Kentucky, at least for the next couple of hours, this is where the greatest risk for severe weather will reside. Along with that will come the threat for strong winds. That's what this is warned for from Kenton down to the east of Piner now to the east of the Crittenden area, Kenton areas over towards Butler, Peach Grove, Moscow, New Richmond, and be on the lookout for strong winds. And obviously, I don't have to tell you this, quite a light show Mother Nature has put on already this evening. As I slide up into the metro, we're getting in on a little bit of a break from the heavy thunderstorm activity, but there's more showers and downpours beginning to pop up. And basically, just as soon as they shut off tonight, they're going to fire right back up again because we basically have a conveyor belt of showers and storms. Wait till I show you what's firing to the south and west already. Here's a look at some nasty storms over around Peebles. These extend back towards Winchester, Mount Orb. None of this is severe, but a good old soaking rain is taking place. All right, here's a look at the big picture. Here's round number one of storms for tonight. Look what's happening down here back in the direction of the Louisville area. New severe thunderstorms beginning to fire, and this is along that stationary front that basically is going to remain in place tonight, and this is the reason why we're concerned about the potential for flood flash flooding and yes, to a lesser extent, some severe weather overnight tonight. Matter of fact, Doppler radar estimating here in this color between Forest Park and Wyoming already over two inches of rain has fallen for some of you, and I think we are only going to add to that overnight tonight. So couple of colors here on the map. This pink represents a severe thunderstorm watch and yellow. That's the tornado watch down towards the Louisville area. Underneath this pink is green and that covers the entire viewing area and that is a flash flood watch through tomorrow morning. So still seeing some flashes of lightning behind me here at the airport. We're down to 63 degrees. Officially only a little over a half an inch of rainfall, but as you saw there, some of you have certainly seen a lot more. So here we go. Look at this conveyor belt of uh, thunderstorm activity tonight. It stretches from Pittsburgh right along the Ohio River here in Cincinnati, back past Louisville and Evansville, all the way down towards Paducah, Kentucky tonight. And notice these storms just keep regenerating. This is why it's going to be a stormy overnight and early start to your Saturday and look at temperatures too. Look at this 50s and 60s to the north where it has rained south across parts of Kentucky still in the 70s tonight and it's this little boundary that's going to keep the threat for rain in here overnight tonight. So showers and storms continue through the night. That severe thunderstorm watch expires at 2 a.m. It's questionable whether or not it will be extended. It is certainly possible as we'll keep the threat for severe weather around through the nighttime hours while we sleep, but maybe to a little bit of a lesser degree. I expect a wet start on Saturday, but it's still looking promising for commencement at UC where the rain's going to get out of here by early afternoon. And I still think tomorrow afternoon there will be an extended period of dry, almost summer like weather where it feels like late June or July with temperatures in the mid 80s and high levels of humidity that will come to an end though late tomorrow night as we'll likely face another cluster of storms moving through. Some of those could be strong to severe until they rain themselves out. We start dry and warm on Sunday. Most of your Sundays warm and dry until late in the afternoon when we'll likely see another line of strong to severe thunderstorms come through. So Mother Nature is certainly closing in on its promise and fulfilling its promise of an active stormy spring weekend. So 64, that's as low as we're going to drop tonight with thunderstorms. And again, some of them could be on the strong side once again. And then for tomorrow, morning rain will fade to steamy sunshine by afternoon. Very summer like after about one or two 84 for your high. Here's your day planner starting out wet at 8 a.m., drying out by lunchtime, and then temperatures will soar into the mid 80s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We're in the 80s Saturday. We're in the 80s on Sunday, but following this potent storm system, it will cool off and dry out next week as we fall back into the 60s for Monday and Tuesday. All right.